happy July 4th if you're tuning in today or if you're uh, tuning in later for the the archive stream. Got some uh, great product today. Got super lucky. Uh, ignore the mess in the background. I've been ripping some fun stuff all day, I guess, just to, to add to the channel. But uh, got lucky with two boxes of Bowman Sapphire. And this was an online exclusive from Tops.com. Lucky for me, I'm a Montgomery Club member and was able to order two boxes of the max limit uh, day before it went public. And even that was really, really difficult. Uh, the ordering process took a few hours. Even once it was in my cart, it took a while for me to check out. And then uh, I thought I'd help a friend out and see if I could get uh, any product the day after for the public release. And um, the bots absolutely killed that um, site was difficult to log into. And even though I eventually got stuff in my cart, um, like many other people on Twitter, were treated as a bot because we kept reloading, trying to check out. And then eventually, um, as you might suspect, no success on the checkout process. But that's okay. Um, I'm sitting here with two boxes, and I think the tough part is you look at just how expensive they are on eBay right now. And I get it. You know, people want to chase Wit, people want to chase Dominguez, as well as Paws and some other others, uh, other players out there. But do you rip or do you flip? And as you guys probably already can tell from some of my videos and certainly what I've shared online, uh, I'm a collector. So we're going to open these up and see what we find. You know, I think with Bowman this year, obviously the big the big ones are, are going to be Dominguez and Wit. You know, that's what you want to hit each one of these boxes. In this case, have uh, an autograph from one of those potential prospects in it too. So you're sitting here. You're breaking these, and you're hoping for the best. <laughs> you know, I think if I can walk away even with Sapphire of either one of those individuals, I'm going to be happy today. Certainly a few others that I would be excited to find in here as well. Um, just the other day, got a Jackson Rutledge printing plate autograph and like stuff like that's pretty awesome i think he could be a pretty decent pitcher for the nationals and it's fun to see that stuff um as you're breaking but you know it doesn't get much higher stakes than this um in some of my previous videos i had already shared just I think how much bowman product has been this year because of the pandemic because of people getting back into the hobby as the flippers trying to make their money, um, you know, even some of those online distributors, the uh, low cards of the world, I'm calling you guys out. You know, it's, it's ridiculous to see even the initial allocation way, 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 way above, um, you know, three, four hundred dollar price range in the six, seven hundred dollar price range. Um, Bowman Sapphire Online was 150. Um, you're starting to see some folks uh, sell that for double to triple the price on eBay. But you know what? We're going to have some fun with these. Um, oh, eight packs. Two, four, six, eight. And four cards per pack. Oh, gosh. You want to do the math? It's what, 3 to $4 per card? Um, so you're definitely hoping that you hit something significant out of these. And let's see if we have some luck today. Oh man, this might be an auto in the first pack. Oh, let's see. It is going to be no one super significant. Alec Bomb to start. Uh, I had some Sapphire from 2020 Bowman draft. And uh, it did not look like this. This is this is nice that they actually took the name and made it blue like it should be. Lionel Valera. So only one more auto. Ugh. It hit in that in the first pack. Makes you nervous all the rest of the way through. Um, Joey Bart. Base there, and Joey Cantillo, who is somebody that I've been uh, looking for and somebody that I've been collecting as part of uh, 2020 Bowman. 
think uh, he's got a pretty good chance to succeed in San Diego, both because of that ballpark, um, I think also because of that system and the team certainly has some solid players, of course. So yeah, Bowman Sapphire. Did you get any? Did you rip any? What did you find? The, a first pack piece of magic right away like me or not? Brennan Davis, an autograph certainly to chase. Um, not his first, but you know, first auto as far as the product's concerned. Travis Swaggerty. Pittsburgh had some really good prospects too when you look at uh, 2019 product. Howard, the Phillies, and the aforementioned Jackson Rutledge makes an appearance. Um, somebody I think I'm going to keep an eye out for. Maybe he finds himself in the rotation. Maybe he doesn't. It's just uh, an awesome reliever, Josh Hader esque. But, uh, I like his. His tools. We'll see what he can uh, do in Washington. Everybody thought that team was going to be done once Bryce Harper left. They look great. Not to say that uh, problem per se, but I don't know. Got Juan Soto, Victor Robles. You know, Rendon certainly helped last year as well, but. Solid team. Curious to see what they do this year. Have to do something about the the reflection we have here. No huge names out of that pack. So nervous breaking this. What are we gonna see? What are we gonna find? Vice Lewis. Great prospect for the Twins. Might see him on the. Taxi squad at the very least this year, and, and maybe even uh, in uniform. Zu Sanchez, Marlins. Mackenzie Gore, solid prospect for San Diego. I bet you would see him in uniform this year. And then uh, Jeremy Pena of the Astros. So yeah, have you had luck with Bowman, whether it's retail? hobby um, online been striking out for the most part there outside of Sapphire you yeah, see my previous break with uh, some of the mega boxes we got really lucky there including a Yankees autograph you're gonna have to go over there and check it out to just see who it was um, relatively good name for the Yankees check it out CJ Abrams uh, love this guy. Team USA um, drafted last year, showed up in um, Bowman draft, but I think he's going to have the opportunity to do something special with San Diego. Really got lucky with him. He actually hit uh, his variation as an auto from a hobby box last year. Grant Levine, and we've got some color. Xavier Edwards, um, he's another guy that I, I think if you're looking at prospects and you're looking at who you might want to invest in, um, comes to mind, it's out of 75. And I believe he was what traded to the Rays? So, certainly somebody to keep an eye on. Now uh, you talk about pitching again, Matthew Libertor. A lot of talent there for St. Louis. Hopefully not too much, because Brewers fan. And I'm excited by the opportunity we might see with them this year. 60 games, anything can happen. They've got the talent, they can put Braun at DH. A lot. Ooh. Again, I think, you know, as I talk about like what I was hoping to get out of this product, just one of those big names as Sapphire would make me happy. And there we go. Bobby Witt Jr. I like it even more as um, you look at that color. 
Casey Royals uniform and that blue looks really, really good. Like it. And that apparently is the sweet spot to hold the cards, not to get that uh, reflection. But yeah, anything can happen. I think uh, we've got Yelich returning. Healthy, it seems. You know, that was a, a, a incredibly bad luck last year. Oh, making a run, follow a ball off your own kneecap, and done for the season. As unfortunate as that was, we still had a really good year coming out of 2018. Um, you got to be really proud of what that team did, and I certainly am. It was, a, it was a good run, two years in a row. That's the type of legacy we're trying to create in Milwaukee. David Stearns has been good for us. Forrest Whitley. Again, kind of like that blue with the Astros, blue and orange there. Obviously not a, a first. He's been around, but good-looking card. Christian Javier. And we're going to end that first box with Jazz Chisholm. All right. Box one done. Here we go. I think we're going to save that one. I think that might be an auto as well. And if I'm going to break that auto, I want to end on it. I don't think I want to start on it. Keep some excitement here. Evan White. Kanan Smith. Another Yankee to, to keep an eye out for. Like his hit tool and he's got power. Crazy power. Alec Manoa. Second card coming out of uh, Bowman Draft. Ah, I love it. So I uh, I discovered Marco Luciano as an autograph coming out of 2019 Bowman. One of the first boxes I bought as I tried to get back into the hobby and adds his, you know, second, what, card with Bowman out of some Topps products. But this kid, one of the top international prospects out there, he has a great set of tools he also seems to have high, high, high baseball IQ, and I like it. You know, anyone like that that I can follow um, gets me excited. De La Cruz. That's what, what I love about baseball. You find these guys that uh, might not play for your team, but you can follow. Corman, another big uh, Cardinals prospect. Just sort of enjoy the, the hobby for what it is, right? That's what we're here for. Enjoy baseball. Enjoy the hobby. Make sure I've got some additional sleeves here. Wow. Need to clean up those boxes, folks. There's too much garbage in this room. We'll do that next before I break anything else. I'm trying to get my setup figured out. Audio seems to be finally good. Um, some of the image, good, a little dark, but anyway, um, yeah, you know, find those players that you like, follow them, make sure that you're enjoying this sport, make sure that you're enjoying the hobby, otherwise it gets, it's to be a grind and you're like, oh, I didn't get the player I wanted, I didn't get the autograph I was looking for. Why isn't it a jersey patch versus just, uh, you know, a, a basic relic? Nice to see Robert there. And uh, you know, enjoy that shit. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Read the back of cards. Check them out. Klenik, um, I've been following him as well. Initially drafted by the Mets. Awesome, awesome player. Um, and he's a Wisconsin native. So I thought, you know what? Definitely invest, and I'm going to enjoy watching his career, too. I think he and Julio Rodriguez up in Seattle got the ability to make something special happen there. Glen Allen Hill Jr. is I'm going to keep an eye on. 
Um, but yeah, some Wisconsin natives could have a, a huge impact this year in, in baseball. The other big name, Gavin Lux of the Dodgers, certainly, um, certainly something to be watchful of. I, I've got a couple of his rookie cards that I'll be holding on to. We got some color here. Sixto Sanchez, I love his uh, talent. It's not a, a, a first as far as color goes and card goes, but still solid card to get out of Sapphire. Helio, I think uh, another person that could maybe have uh, an impact for the Giants this year. Maybe at least Taxi Squad. And somebody I was following out of draft, uh, JJ Bade. A little bit more of a, a mature hitter, older prospect, but um, somebody to, to invest in and follow if, if you like hitters. And Miami needs all the help they can get. Especially after you trade away Christian Yelich. I mean, who does that? Tyler Freeman. Brady McConnell. Opportunity with him. Logan Davidson. Need uh, to send Logan a note. Got uh, one of his um, printing plates of a, a target pack. Not a bad pull. Adley. Um, I am a fan. I used to love Johnny Bench as a kid. And I think he just had high baseball IQ, cared about the sport, cared about the kids. Um, obviously a great hitter. And not to say that Adley is going to be the, that same guy, but seems to be solid behind the plate from everything I've seen with Team USA. And uh, good kid. And I can root for him. He's an Oriole. Don't have to worry about him being in... Uh, National League. Another six doe. Joe Ryan. Some opportunity with him if you're a collector. Don't know him. Reagent in 2015. Haven't seen him. Don't know him. Probably not uh, the prospect we're looking for, but I like him. Well, Sizer. And uh, somebody that I, I've wanted to keep an eye on a little bit. Some of my neighbors. Fireworks celebrating the 4th, or maybe they're just celebrating all these cards I'm pulling today. Last pack outside of that other one that I think is the auto. Yeah, that, that first pack is the auto. Glad I held it. Adam Hall. No Dominguez. But you know what? We're not done yet. Justin Pash. Heather Trammell. Trammel, Trammel, Scoobal. Again, somebody uh, I'm holding, interested in them. The stats coming out of 2019 were pretty phenomenal. Um, look at that ERA and that whip. Can he do it this year? So here we go. Last pack. There is an auto in there. What will we find, folks? What will we find? Blake Rutherford. Tristan Cassas. Grant Little. 
Joey Quintillo. You've been following me. Certainly somebody that I've been uh, investing in. Somebody that I'm going to be following with the Padres. I'm not unhappy with that. Uh, I would have loved to hit a Jason Dominguez. Don't get me wrong. I would have uh, loved to hit a Dominguez auto. Don't get me wrong. But um, I think this might actually represent the end of uh, my 2020 Bowman investment. Um, some good cards coming out of it. Uh, the Sapphire product. I won't uh, dislike some of these. Would love to see them with a blue auto. But uh, quick recap. Cantillo auto. Scoble, Holsizer, Adley for myself at six though. Again, Luciano just for my personal collection. Bobby Witt, again, gonna enjoy that in the personal collection. Xavier Edwards, going right into that box as well for myself. Jackson Rutledge, Cantillo Base, and Lionel Valera. So, not, uh, not too bad. Overall, um, if you guys uh, hit anything big, let me know. Add it to the comments. If you've got some stuff that uh, you're breaking and uh, want me to follow, happy to. Hit me up on Twitter. Leave me a comment here. I'll be uh, improving the stream a little bit with some of the, the video quality and, and getting things in order here. But the biggest thing is... Um, just the launch of the channel with Waxmatic on YouTube. So follow along, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Till then, good luck with, with your breaks, folks.